Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and these are a fantastic selection of notebooks and pen holders from, and forgive my pronunciation, but I believe it's pronounced Leuchtturm 1917 and well, I've got a feeling that these are just about the best large notebooks that are on the market at the moment and well, I'll show you why in a second but as you can see we've got a few different um, colours here and this is a very nice one from the Neon range, which we'll dive in and have a look at in a second. Uh, we will save the pen holders for another video, but as you can see, well, we'll have a quick look at one of them in a bit. Um, so, I suppose if I give you a quick 360 so you can get the general gist, and well, it's got to be said, I really like this incredibly bright colour. Um, but what makes these a little bit different from other notebooks of a similar sort of size is that first of all these are slightly wider these are 145 by 210 millimeters so a large moleskin for example is slightly thinner um, this way than these books here but something that I think if we look on the back here um, you've got 249 numbered pages which instantly is a rather interesting idea um, a blank table of contents, eight perforated and detachable sheets, uh, expandable pocket on the back cover uh, as you would expect, a page marker and obviously the elastic uh, enclosure band as they call it, um, thread bind so it opens flat and rather interestingly as well another little touch with um, these specifically is sticker for labelling and archiving and well I think that this, when we dive in, you'll uh, see what I mean. So, without further ado, let's go for it. And I don't know if you can see just how bright this cover is, but also it's got a rather interesting sort of honeycomb sort of reflector pattern on it. If I fetch it up close here, you can see how it somehow has this sparkly effect when it's in direct light, which is a very nice uh, touch and just something that adds another little level of detail to it. So let's zoom back out and have a look inside and you'll see just what I mean about the uh, extra sort of details. So if we take that off, now you can see in all its glory. I think once you've taken that cover off you can tell that it's just that little bit wider. If we pop it open, you've got your logo down there and a logo embossed in the back there. A card saying thank you for purchasing one of their books. A little bit of information there. And then a name and address. Obviously, well, what you'd expect, your contact details in the front. And then here's your table of contents, which I think is a very interesting thing. And like I say, obviously, because these um, pages are all numbered in the bottom corner, this obviously means that something such as the table of contents suddenly becomes far more useful. So if we open up to the back here, you'll see it comes with these stickers here that you can put down the spine and on the front so that obviously you can look and see what it is from the side when it's on a shelf. So that's quite a nice um, extra detail as well. And obviously, as mentioned, there is your pocket at the back there. Alright. If we pop open our incredibly bright bookmark there as well. <laughs> so that is from the Neon range, and that, as you've seen, is a lined notebook. But if we pop open something like this, which rather nicely has got my name on it. Um, you'll see in this one, we have got blank pages, still numbered, but because these pages are blank, included in the back is a line sheet and a squared sheet. So obviously because this matches up to the page size, these are your guidelines for going underneath. So for example, you would obviously slot it into whatever page you're writing on and then be able to see them through the paper to keep it straight and the same obviously works for the lined, uh, for the squared side there as you can see which I think personally is an excellent little detail and as you can see in this notebook we have also got uh, one of the pen holders 
which obviously I'll show you a proper video of these in action and show you obviously what they like to stick to different things and what different pens of different widths uh, go like in it. But it's got to be said, when you're putting together things like the general wider pages, the numbered pages, the fact that the blank pages come with a little uh, guideline that's cut to the size of the book, which as you may know I absolutely love writing on blank paper. So being able to keep everything in line and nice and um, straight, but still have the blank paper once you take the guidelines away is going to be excellent. Um, like I say, you've got your pen holders, obviously bought separately, and then obviously the standard pocket in the back, and your stickers for archiving that you can put on the front and stick it down the spine. And well, I don't know, I just think these are excellent, and they really have got an awful lot of attention to detail on. I mean, things like particularly this um, neon one here, I really love this cover and its weird sparkly effect. Um, yeah, so that's been a very quick look at these. Please make sure you stay tuned for the pen um, holder video and also for a comparison of all of the notebooks I've got in this size. So I've got a lot of things like obviously Moleskins, uh, Fabio Ricci, uh, Cartesio and well, we'll see how it goes. But I think these currently, if you're looking for a notebook this size, these are absolutely fantastic. I mean, just look at that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for my other videos. Check out the videos in the playlist in the description because I have got a huge amount of notebooks. So if you're into notebooks and things like that, make sure you check it out because I've got an awful lot to say on the matter. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page, and well, until the next time, have a fantastic day.